Howdy, people. I had half a mind to sing the uh, Galaxy song at you and uh, grace you with my rendition of that classic uh, from uh, Monty Python's The Meaning of Life, as sung by Eric Idle. But um, I opted to spare you for uh, <laughs> mostly for uh, time's sake. Uh, it's blizzarding out today. <clears throat> so, um, I don't know what, uh, my day tomorrow will entail. Um, so, uh, the weather is quite interesting in my neck of the woods. Um, uh, at any rate, uh, I spent a lot of my time kind of shopping, um, looking for, I like to find unique pieces aside from, uh, you know, the sabers that you're going to get from, uh, places like Saber Forge and Ultra Sabers and uh and even uh, other heavy hitters like Saber Tree on Electrum Saber Crafts and um uh, you know all uh, various and sundry places. I like to find unique pieces, um scrap scrap built sabers or just uh sabers that are, are built from uh you know by smaller um you know sabersmiths or, or up and coming sabersmiths. I, I just like to find unique pieces. And uh, so I spent a lot of time searching the, the forums on uh, Facebook and and FX Sabers. And, and just it's, it's sort of a hobby of mine, as well as uh, obviously other things to keep myself preoccupied. Um, uh, today I watched um, Alita Battle Angel, um, the, uh, the anime, the two part anime from. The 80s this is one of my favorite animes of all time and um, I thought that movie did a uh, quite an amazing job of uh, staying within the uh, the vein of the original source material and the manga and um, I really enjoyed it um, but that's aside from uh, what what the point is that I'm eventually gonna get to you know me I do this whole stream of consciousness thing one thing leads into another um, but I'm, I'm really kind of here to talk to you guys about the Etsy store um, because I, I think of the Etsy store as just sort of a, a giant flea market. And um, I've, I've been to flea markets where um, the people that uh, set up shop in there are actually running shops and they, they just uh, they sort of rent space. And uh, that's, that's sort of what the Etsy store is, this sort of a virtual version of that. And uh, I, I think it's an amazing resource for finding, finding exotic and various and sundry pieces, uh, saber-wise, that aren't, aren't all that expensive. And uh, for the most part, you, you get quick turnaround time. Uh, I personally have about, just today, I, I think I favorited uh, about six different sabers of, of various um, levels of quality from, you know, stun sabers like, like this uh, Rom Coda replica that I purchased from um, the Spaz Bros and, and this saber, which I've reviewed. This was manufactured, and they just sort of show you a photo generally of, of what you're going to get. And then he uh, assembled this really, really simple. Well, it might not have been simple for him, but it's a, it's a simple saber overall with... Um, not too much in the way of features. It's just a stun saber uh, with really rudimentary electronics. But um, as someone had asked me uh, in a in a comment a little while ago, it, it can be upgraded with um, better electronics for someone that's capable of doing such things. That's not really my forte uh, as yet. Uh, I just I have no real interest in. I'm the kind of person that if uh, if uh, if I want a fine meal, I would prefer to go to a restaurant and pay them to make me a fine meal. And that way I know that the fine meal I get is actually, quote unquote, a fine meal. Uh, anything I do is uh, predicated on um, just simplicity. If I'm hungry, I, I'll just eat whatever is available and, and I don't really have too much in the in the way of <laughs> caring about nuance so when it comes to sabers if someone's going to make me a a really nice rom coda um and throw in an nano biscotti v4 <laughs> i'm going to be perfectly happy and um that's kind of the situation with this saber uh, which was made by um uh, blue force sabers uh, which i have also reviewed and i've i've come to 
<clears throat> except that this is one of my favorite sabers that I, I really enjoy swinging around and, uh, and playing with. And I've also discovered that, uh, based on um, my recent review that I did of, uh, of my vanquish that, um, I found myself hunting for curved hilts and believe it or not, cur curved hilts are, are turning out to be, um, really, really difficult to find. Uh, I do have an eye on, uh, on a particular curl curved hilt, uh, saber that's kind of quite expensive. Um, so I'm not sure. We'll see where that goes. Uh, I, I really have to watch what I spend these days, and I've been failing miserably at that. Which, again, brings me back to the Etsy store. Um, if you're looking for a saber um, that's unique, maybe just a, a one-off, no one else has it. Uh, if you're interested in a stunt saber or a sound saber, you, you can usually find something on the Etsy store. If you search, if you really get into searching for various criteria you know if you look for a stunt saber or stunt lightsaber or um sound lightsaber or custom lightsaber whatever the criteria you pick you're going to get different hits and it's going to take you to different stores and you're going to see that a lot of the times these things are on sale and if if you know if if you if you place an order within one or two weeks you're going to see results you're going to have something in hand um, sometimes uh, it's an international seller. Sometimes it's a, it's someone in the continental, continental U S that's obviously going to affect shipping. And, um, you know, I mean, it's, we're not, you're not just limited to Saber Forge. I mean, Saber Forge, their Etsy store is obviously one of the best resources for getting your hands on one of their Sabers without having to wait the requisite, what is it, 11 to 14 weeks now. I mean, I have an, I have an heiress that they've been working on some September, September 29th. And you know, it, it gets to the point where you, you place an order for a saber and then you almost don't even care after a while. I mean, I, I have three sabers on order with them. I have an heiress, a bastion and, and a, um, a Tonto. And, and you just get to the point where, I mean, it's three months four months, five months, and you just, I don't know, it's just, there's just something about that. It's draining. You, you stop caring after a while, and you wish you could just get the money back and buy something from a, one of these companies. That they, well, There it is, it's right there. And they go, whoa, I have, I have one of this one, and there's no one other, there's no other saber like it. And you go, well, that I find that appealing. And you can have it in three days. And then, and then you get it and it's amazing, <laughs> you know, rather than four months later and it comes and you're almost kind of nonchalant about it. I mean, granted, I don't do, do excitement like everyone else does. I'm, I'm a little bit more tempered due to age and philosophy, but I don't, that's just the way I feel about it. And, uh, so <laughs> if you're into instant gratification, which I guess I am. Um, usually you can find something on the Etsy store that, that's pretty amazing. And so I recommend, I'm just, basically the point of this uh, rambling discussion is uh, just don't limit yourself to one or two companies. Search around. Use your resources. Go to the Etsy store. There's, there's 40 or 50 different pages on Facebook that, you know, you can, you can join. And all they do is have people listing stuff they have created and it's for sale and and then other people are looking to buy things and asking questions it's just it's a wonderful community um and uh and there, there's plenty of resource material um you know free searches out there so you're not limited so go for it <laughs> spend some time do a do a hunt go exploring See what's out there. See what's see what's available, and who knows, you might find something amazing. <laughs> and um, I think I've gone on long enough. So with the obligatory turning things on. I've really gotten used to the saber. I've even gotten used to its speaker, and of course this one. This one's just a. It's 
do this. Sabers, yay! Anyway, thank you for uh, thank you for putting up with me. Um, I I am hoping that uh, I'll be receiving some um, some interesting sabers to actually review and and show off this week. Um, we'll we'll see how that goes. Uh, I I think I should be getting at least two of them, and um, they're they're as I said they're just unique pieces that uh you just probably won't see reviewed by anyone else. <laughs> Alrighty then. I uh, I want to give a shout out to all the people that have just recently subscribed to uh, my page, um, and a lot of the commenters who have been asking me really good questions. I really do uh, I really do appreciate interacting with all you uh, fine people and and welcome welcome to the club. <laughs> Alrighty then. I hope everyone has a wonderful week. Stay safe. Uh, whatever the weather's doing in your uh, your neck of the woods, um, just just take care of yourselves. Stay out of harm's way, and uh, my love to you all. And um, have yourself uh, have have yourself a good evening. Thank you. Bye.